Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's first vault of the season, and we are back with some vault videos. So I'm hoping that I can hopefully talk about my decisions and, like, what I'm kind of planning for the season. Uh, and we'll do that here in a second, actually. So it looks like it's time walking week, which is really good, which means you get a piece of normal loot. I'm, I'm assuming this cannot be tier, but probably worth doing some time walking, especially this early on. Given like a couple weeks from now, I'm sure this this kind of daily or this weekly won't be super impactful, but definitely worth keeping an eye on. But uh, we'll be taking care of that probably later this week or maybe later tonight, though my goal is to get into Mythic Plus as soon as possible. So the Great Vault is located right in here, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. Okay, wrong place. I'm dumb. It's in the bank. So we're going to head over to the, the bank here. And let's see what we can do. Really quick, before you do that, not that this really matters, but there is a meta quest right here that um, by opening up the Great Vault and choosing an item, you're going to get like a just two gold or whatever. Just make sure you pick it up and it'll clear your map of that quest. So here we go. So I'm going to be opening this probably as Brewmaster. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I might want to open it up as Windwalker. Give me one second. So in this last week, I was able to do all my delves. I full cleared a couple uh, Mythic tours, so I should have Mythic Zero Loot in there. But most likely we're going to be picking up a heroic piece. My guild did seven of eight bosses and all normal, though I think because I did seven heroic bosses, it should be heroic ray loot across those seven, excluding loot from the final boss outside of, I think, tier. But tier doesn't drop from the final boss, it's only uh, Omni tokens. So let's see. I really, I do want to make sure that Brewmaster is. So, like, this is one of our better trinkets off of the first boss. It does really good damage for raid, and it's okay in Mythic Plus for damage, but generally speaking, there's some other better defensive trinkets. Um, the main thing I want to make sure that I'm tr possibly looting is going to be this Void Reaper weapon. I don't think it's available, like, so it is available for Brewmaster, which is what I'm checking here. And, uh, we're looking, actually, alright. And then Silken Court. The thing is, like, if I go Windwalker, the idea is that I'm removing some items from the possibility of getting, so I limit my chances of loot into like a smaller window and that's kind of the idea of like choosing between Windwalker and Brewmaster when opening up your vault especially this early on in the season so we have like four three four I think Brewmaster can actually end up getting like extra gear off of certain bosses I'm just trying to see four three four so like the difference number. it looks like if I open up on Brew it's probably like equal chances but favoring some of the more tankier loot uh, we can even get Void Reaper's contract as Brewmaster, so I think I just send it as Brew because the chances are like I could even get a Swarm Lord's Authority, which is a pretty good trinket defensively for Mythic Plus and and Raid in some instances. So we're probably gonna make sure our loot spec is set to Brewmaster. Make sure you're checking this before you open it up. Anyways, I don't want to rant too long about how I want to open this. Um, we're just gonna get into it. I'm praying for like decent shit. Praying for decent stuff. Oh, please give me tier. No shit. This is just not. This is not work. Watch it be the case where like um, they're not counting anything I did this week, and I have no vault. I think it might just be lat. Oh, there we go. All right. Cool. We do have some good items in here. At, at like a quick glance, so one big notable change is that they change it from PvP to world gear. So this is going to come from Delves, so you can definitely easily fill your vault every week. Let's talk about th some of these items. So this is going to be about a 4% DPS increase, Avanax's uh, Mercurial Egg. The weird part about this is you do want to stand still so it stacks. I don't like that gameplay, especially in Mythic Plus and especially for Brewmaster, so I'm probably going to lean away from this item specifically. We did get the uh, the neck off of Silken Court. This is probably our best necklace for a long period of time. We might end up crafting in the future, but having like 4,000 versatility with just a little bit of mastery isn't a bad thing. While we are favoring crit and verse early on in the season, uh, mastery still is pretty strong, and we're probably going to hit our critical strike DR soon. Uh, it is kind of approaching here. Uh, so overall, I, I think it's something that we can definitely take. But also this early on, we do want to more f like focus a little bit more on main stat pieces. 
And on top of that, what's going to be easier to farm? Uh, Heroic Silken Cord is something that my guild will probably be able to start downing. Uh, it only took us like eight pulls on Prague. We're probably going to be able to get it down uh, every week for the next couple of weeks. And then after that, eventually we'll be in Mythic and we can always craft. And there's also great necklaces from Mythic Plus. So we also have a belt, which is crit haste, high haste. We definitely don't want this belt. So right now, both of these things are, uh, you know, decent, though I'm probably going to lean more towards like... Just because I don't like the Trinket's playstyle, we'd probably lean more towards the Silken Advisor's favor. Uh, but let's keep going through here. In terms of dungeon loot, the Mythic Zero loot table... I mean, the loot table is fine. It's just Champion Gear is definitely not worth taking, so we'll probably ignore all of these. Though this is a very good ring for us. It's high versus low crit. Uh, valuable ring overall. Probably something that you, you might consider running later down the line. The Queen Anzarek ring is very strong, and that's probably going to be your go-to. Unless you're not raiding at all, then you're probably just going to be running this along with the ring from... Where is it from? Necrotic Wake, the uh, commander's ring of something. I don't remember what its name is. Uh, we also have Crit Haste chest and another chest that's Haste Mastery. Don't want either of these. And then our last world section, I did get Tear Pants with Leech. This is probably going to be my go-to. Uh, the reason why it's a pretty big item level increase over what I currently have, which is a 606 PvP item, it is tier, it has leech, uh, leech on the hero track while, um, you know, you generally want a mythic piece eventually, having leech on it gives it more value, and it also will get me closer to the four set. Um, four set will come from pretty much when, as soon as I get either KSM or AOTC, or when we kill some raid bosses, this will give me my three set. We also have regular pants at Haste Mastery, so I would not take these over the tier item because we're going to run tier. The only tier piece that we don't want actually happen to be gloves. Uh, they're high haste, low crit. While haste isn't a horrible stat, crit, mastery, verse are all better. So we're going to lean towards that instead. So in, when you're thinking about your tier items for Brewmaster specifically, you're going to be looking at the helm, the shoulders, the chest on the left-hand side of your character page, and then the right-hand side you're going to be looking at just pants. So pants are probably my best option here. Obviously, in the future weeks, we're going to be looking at Mythic Track items instead, but I'd say out of all of these choices, I'd be leaning towards tier versus maybe like these two items, but I'm going to have to go with the tier pants here. And so we're going to select this reward. Now, there's obviously some things I possibly I could hold on to this piece and not select anything because we do raid uh, Thursday and uh, Wednesday and Thursday this week, so I could always get tier there, but chances are they're probably going to prioritize DPS getting their four sets, so this is going to make it easier for me and almost guarantees a four set bonus this week since I got two pieces last week. So now we have 16, uh, 616 pair of pants on the uh, that are tier, and they also have leech, which is very good. So those pants are right here. That is amazing. I am I'm pretty stoked about this actually. Like that's exactly what you're hoping for in your first vault. Getting tier in your in your vault almost guarantees a four set week one of the season, which is really nice because you can pretty much uh, you can catalyst one week. You obviously have your tier, and then you have your omni token. So all you're hoping for is one tier piece to drop. If you happen not to get tier this week, you should pretty much guaranteed the following week, next week, because you'll have two Catalyst charges, you'll have your Omni token, or you should, uh, you'll have higher item level to make it easier to get your Omni token from kind of the meta achievements, and then finally, um, you'll get hopefully one piece from Vault if you're doing all of your stuff. So let's just turn in this little quest. All right, in terms of like the plan for the day, I'm going to be doing a lot of Mythic Plus. I might stream later on. Based on when this actually gets posted, I might be already streaming. But my goal is to stream later in the day. Today is mostly going to be focused on, like, Mythic Plus, but I also have to, like, take care of my dog and eat and do some other adult stuff throughout the day. So I won't be streaming because I'm going to be stepping away from my computer every once in a while. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys, I hope that all makes sense. And good luck in your vaults, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.